It is crazy that the world should be so disparate as this. Some people may say they're not developed, but really, they, they have adapted to, in many cases, severe climates and can live there in, in no way that you or I could survive. In, in places like the United States, uh, it's almost magical how electricity works. It just, it's like, it's, it's so reliable, it's so inexpensive, and it's available everywhere you go. Just think of the last time you had a power outage at your house and how disruptive that is. A lot of people don't even go to work when they have a power outage. The food in your fridge spoils. You worry about charging your devices. Well, this is the reality for, you know, about 1.2 billion people around the world. You look up in a town of 30,000 people and you see nothing black. If you imagine the scenario where uh, you are injured or, or your, you or your wife um, is having a baby in the middle of the night and you go to a health clinic and there's no electricity there. If you ask the average American to think about what they do after 6 p.m. at night, I mean, that's really when they feel like they live, right? Just imagine if your day ended at, at 6 o'clock at night. Just imagine. There were some IEEE-wide initiatives that, that really wanted to see how technology could impact humanity. There were some really dedicated volunteers that cropped up from all over the IEEE and even outside IEEE. The IEEE is a, is a member-driven organization and initiatives like this should be member-volunteer-led. Smart Village's humanitarian outreach is quite impactful in that we partner with people and then partner with NGOs that they introduce us to in country and then work with them in order to develop a sustainable business model that provides electricity. Smart Village is providing electricity through microgrids, through portable battery kits and other business models uh, to people living in, the, in these communities. We are in the business of trying to create commerce and employment and education. The, the whole goal is to, is to encourage them to study, to get an education, and then get good jobs and develop an income. The model is we, once we have electricity in a community, we move in with another team that's gonna explore the educational opportunities. There has to be elements of sustainability, and that means training. That means that it is producing money that can, that can keep, that, uh, keep the entity going but it also looks at sustainability as in the, uh, all of the projects are renewable resources. We're giving a business to a community. We're not just giving them light bulbs. We have a long vision, uh, we expect results, and we track what we do. No one else is really providing a, more than a job, but actually a business for the local entrepreneurs. We're putting in a company that, in fact, they can own and that they can get regular income from. The partners that we've directly supported are serving around 15,000 people with, with clean electricity. The solution is not to just buy more shiny products. The solution is to actually let them build these, these products, creating those jobs and keeping that money which would otherwise have gone to, to paying for kerosene or candles. Every electrification project that we have uh, has a local partner. That's, that's the entrepreneur, that's the individual or organization that we see promise in. They want to provide access to electricity to improve their communities. You get to see people when they have electricity for the first time. I think a lot of lives have been changed on both sides. I mean, a lot of lives have been changed by the people who are trying to do it. I think there's a certain dignity that goes along with having electric light. The bottom line is we need everything from people who are building the technology, open source software to monitor and control these devices, to uh, business people, uh, to legal people, to those that are just passionate about uh, raising the finance, and even more so, those who can be like ambassadors to go out and find those one in a thousand entrepreneurs in those villages. It doesn't happen on its own. We're really setting up uh, micro-utility enterprises, and they need, they need startup, just like any, any other business. We have a current drive to do $10 million fundraising. It makes a gigantic difference in their lives to have that light around. Teach a person to thrive and they will thrive.